You may already know that cheetahs are the world's fastest than animals. But did you know that in just one hour, a cheetah can run from Kampala, Uganda's capital city, to Jinja in the eastern part of Uganda, which is over 80 kilometers away? I am your pal guide, Ruth Naseje, and I bring you more details about the cheetahs in Uganda on your Vision TV's Pal of Africa Diaries, your home of adventures. <music> Cheetahs are mainly found in East and South Africa. In Uganda, a visit to Kidepo Valley National Park would give you the golden opportunity to sing a cheetah. If you miss it in Kidepo, Uganda Wildlife Education Center, UEC, in Entebbe offers you another opportunity to get close to the fastest animal in the world. Two cheetahs aged two and a half years old came to UEC at just seven months and Joseph Ogwang has hand raised them. Uh, this is Pian and uh, that's Upe. Pian is the male and uh, Upe is the female. Uh, these cheetahs are two years and five months now. Yes, they came in when they were just seven weeks and they were weighing uh, 1.6 kilograms by then. So we hand raised them until uh, this stage where they are. They are currently out of danger and uh, they are actually the first cheetahs to have been hand raised and rehabilitated at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. The cheetah is the world's fastest land mammal. With acceleration that will leave most automobiles in the dust, a cheetah can go from zero to 60 miles an hour they can make quick and sudden turns in pursuit of prey. Before setting off, cheetahs use exceptionally keen eyesight to scan their grassland movement with signs of prey, especially antelopes and hares. They benefit from a stealthy movement and a distinctive posted coat that allows it to blend easily into high and dry grasses. When the movement is right, cheetahs will sprint after its prey and attempt to knock it down. Such cases cost the hunter a tremendous amount of energy and are usually over less than a minute. If successful, the cheetah will often drag its kill to a shady hiding place to protect it from opportunists. Cheetahs need water once every up to three to four days. However, the cheetahs at Uek, Pian and Upe do not have to run after antelopes since their movements are controlled. Ogwange says they give them food every day. Uh, these cheetahs mainly feed on beef, uh, but uh, we also supplement once or twice a week with liver because uh, they need certain uh, nutrients which may not be present only in the beef. Yes. They feed once a day and uh, they usually feed five times in a week. But they also do have starvation days, uh, which are usually on Mondays and Fridays. And this is basically to try and depict what happens in the wild, since these animals don't feed on a daily basis. Because it's a uh, hunt. When you hunt, that's when you get to feed. If you don't hunt, then you do not get to feed. But then also, uh, because they, <coughs> they do not do a lot of exercises in captivity, if you feed every day, then they can develop health complications due to maybe obesity. Yes. Cheetahs are in the cat family. Like any cats, they spend most of their time sleeping, or someone could say resting. They are active early in the morning before the sun comes out and late in the evening when it sets. When it's, uh, the sun is out and it's very hot, usually most cats are lazy sleeping under the tree because the sun is too hot. They usually will not go out to hunt. But uh, we also try to depict the natural characteristics and behavior these animals exhibit. That's why we either will feed in the morning hours when they are much more active or in the evening. 
The cheetah in general shows no hostility towards human beings, probably due to its sociable nature. This may be the reason why the cheetahs here are easily tamed. Ogwanga says they also fall sick and need medical attention. They can get health complications if the hygiene is not adequate, if the feeding and nutrition is not adequate, they can get uh, health complications. So in order for these cheetahs to be as healthy as they look now, we need to feed them well, we need to make sure their hygiene is adequate so that uh, we do not have predisposing factors that can lead to them falling sick at the end of the day. Mating, which occurs mainly at night, begins with the male approaching the female, who lies down on the ground. After copulation, a pair then ignore each other and part ways. However, they meet and copulate a few more times within the next few days. Females can mate with several males. Cheetahs breed throughout the year. They become sexually mature at 21 to 22 months of age. Females can give birth again after 17 to 20 months. However, on the loss of a whole litter, mothers can mate again. Female cheetahs typically have a litter of three cubs and live with them for one and a half or two years. Young cubs spend their first year learning from their mother and practicing hunting techniques with playful games. Male cheetahs live alone or in small groups, often with their littermates. The cubs start following their mothers at six weeks. The mother frequently shifts the cubs to new locations. The lifespan of a wild cheetah is 14 to 15 years. For females, their reproductive cycle typically ends by 12 years of age. Males generally live as long as 10 years. Uganda has a population of about 20 cheetahs. They are mainly found in Kidepo Valley National Park. Here is a scientific classification of a cheetah. The kingdom is Animalia, Phylum, Chodata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Carnivora, Suborder, Felifonia, Family, Felidae, Genus, Asnonyx, Species, Asnonyx, Jubatus. This is it for now, but we shall keep profiling these animals for you here on New Vision TV's Pal of Africa Diaries, where adventures never end. And of course, with me, your pal guide, Rothy Naseje.